Hi friends, I'm Kitty and welcome to Little Wattle Nursery. I'm an adult doll collector that creates content that aims to encourage fun and positivity in our hobby. You are never too old for dolls and never too old for a hobby you love. So stick around and have some dolly fun. Hi friends, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Kitty. Wow, I've left things very late <laughs> to get things organised for the dollies for Easter. Who else is as disorganised as myself? Um, this is the suitcase that I pull out every year. It kind of, it holds all sorts of things in here actually. But I think it's mainly Easter now and sort of Thanksgiving type stuff. I used to have Christmas stuff in here, but it got too large that I had to move that, I think, to another suitcase. So here's all my cute little Easter ears and costumes and accessories. Because today I'm actually going to start getting ready for Easter I'm going to do an outfit change on my brand new prototype reborn doll. She's new to the, the uh, nursery and I'm going to reveal her name as well. Yeah, I'm just having fun sort of going through all the cute little Easter type outfits that I've got packed in here. And I need to find something that's going to be suitable for this cute new little bubba. And at the end of this week for Casual Fun Friday, I will do a big Easter parade with my dollies. And for those who participate in Casual Fun Friday, if you want to just switch things up a little bit this week, uh, you can just dress your dollies in Easter clothes if you like. If you don't have anything Easter, don't worry. Just stick with the casual clothes. Not a problem. Anyway, let me go get my new little dolly. Isn't she just scrumptious? Oh, she is so beautiful, this little girl. This is the Saskia Sculpt by Adri Stuta. And she is a re-release of a kit. Oh, I do apologise if you can hear that drilling in the background. It's Murphy's Law. Every single time I go to record a video, this fellow that's been renovating his house since 2022, that work commences. <laughs> so there's always sort of drilling and, and noise in the background. I do apologise. Anyway, this gorgeous, sweet little girl, I purchased her secondhand. And she is a kit that used to be really popular Back oh, maybe 10 or 15 years ago, I'm thinking maybe pre-2010, well, Pup and Traumlin, they are a, a company in Germany that sell reborn kits and reborn supplies. They re-released this kit and she has new limbs. And she's absolutely gorgeous. She's stunning. I did a box opening on her recently and I'll put a link down in the description box if you want to go check out the box opening. Her Reborn Artist is Master Artist Shailen Maxwell from Reborn Suite. So because she was a prototype, she didn't come with a COA, but I've got her birth certificate from Reborn Suite. So she actually has two numbers there's one here and then there's another one down here so that's her certificate and she was born on 
the 15th of August 2022. You'll recognise this photo because I think this photo was used on McPherson's and also maybe on the Pup and Traumlin website. So yes, this Shailene Maxwell was commissioned. She actually did three of Adri Stuter's uh, kits that were being re-released and this gorgeous little Saskia was one of them. So she was commissioned to do all three and then she sold the doll afterwards and I am, I believe, her third owner. She is just absolutely gorgeous. She recently participated in Foodie Friday for Casual Fun Friday. That's why I've got her in this little donut outfit. But this face is just scrumptious. It really and truly is. I was looking for, my goals this year was to find either a reborn doll that had been reborn you know, 10 or 15 years ago, that a really good condition one, or to find a kit, an older kit, and have it reborn. And, I mean, I, I just didn't think I'd ever get a prototype doll in my collection, so I have really hit the jackpot with this uh, little girl. And I wanted an open-eyed, really young-looking baby, and I think I've kind of hit the jackpot because it's like a three-in-one. I've got a open-eyed young baby it's a prototype and it's an older kit I mean I really just was so incredibly lucky she's just so so precious and what I found with her coloring pink really suits her in her box opening she came with a lot of pink and I just think with how beautifully she's been painted because it's that beautiful peaches and cream complexion she really suits pink so I'm thinking I'm, I'm hoping this is not going to be too big isn't this a gorgeous outfit for Easter it's this cute little dress that has all these bunnies on it and balloons isn't it sweet and it has this bow down the front and it, it ties up at the side. This I love. This has been handmade. So it ties up at the side, sides, which just makes it so easy to get. And it's, and it's buttoned down the back, which makes it so easy to get over the doll's heads. Because that's what I find with reborn dolls. I really get quite stressed trying to put some clothes on them because... They're tight sometimes, and I'm worried that it's going to affect the paint. And this doll, this dress for this doll is going to be absolutely perfect because it's just so easy to get on. Beautiful, beautiful dress. And it comes with these matching bloomers. And look at this headband. Isn't that adorable? And then these are the matching booties. Just super cute. I can't wait to get her dressed in this outfit. So I want to start by saying a really big thank you to all my viewers who came up with some naming suggestions for this little dolly in my previous Casual Fun Friday video. Wow. There was some amazing, totally amazing naming suggestions beautiful name suggestions and most people were sort of coming up with really traditional names they they sort of thought she really suited something more traditional but I was just amazed there were so many names that I thought oh gosh they're so lovely and I'd forgotten about those types of names I'm telling you I've already written a list <laughs> And some of those names I haven't used, but will be used in the future for sure, for absolute sure. So at the end of this video, make sure you stick around because I'm going to announce her name then. But I just want to say thank you so much to everyone who helped out because it really made such a huge difference. Like I said, I wasn't expecting this little dolly to come into my collection so quickly and I'm starting to run out of names. I've got a lot of dolls in my collection and I tend to do what I call double banger names for the reborn dolls. I don't tend to do that for my vintage dolls. So because I'm using two names, it means that I'm running out very quickly 
of names that you know my favorite type names i guess is what i'm trying to to say but uh oh she's really sweet this little dolly and she's made from uh german vinyl this german vinyl is absolutely beautiful i spoke more about the german vinyl in her box opening but it is absolutely exquisite this vinyl i'm really enjoying the german vinyl uh it's stunning and she's just a beautiful doll really beautiful doll i'm so happy with this purchase but look how easy this dress goes over her head this is what uh suppliers should be doing when they're making outfits for these reborn dolls something that goes very easy over the head see and then i just turn her over just turn her little head sideways there then all i have to do you see is button it up here it's just so simple and then i turn her back over again and then i just do it up at the sides it is so incredibly easy this outfit is so easy let me see whether i can just point this down a little bit further see all i do is i raise her arm here and i do up the tie how simple is that and i'm not yanking it over her skin because you've got to be really careful with their oops, sorry i just bumped the camera you've got to be really careful with their with their paint and so this outfit is really lovely i wonder who it's been made by a company called precious little handmaids and i received this outfit as a gift from a friend i believe this company is i think they're on facebook i'm not on facebook so i had a friend purchase this from facebook for me and send it to me oh look how sweet this little dress is looking on her see she really suits pink you can see that you can really see that and oh she's just the best little baby in the nursery she really is oh look at this little headband might be a fraction it look it is a fraction too big but we're going to make it work look at that hair i'm just going to wet my finger and comb that down i don't have a brush i'm in my master bedroom just hold on a moment Oh, I think that fuzz is so sweet. This is very typical of um, Shailen Maxwell's reborning. She does this uh, combination hair of both painted, which she paints beautifully, and then she mono roots the hair. It's just beautiful. So I'll just bring this back up here. Look at that. Look at that precious girl actually that's too high let's bring that down here a little bit let's oh bump the camera again there we go look at that look at that precious little girl so adorable i'm just going to pull that cinch it in at the back here because we're going to make that work for her just cinch it in a little bit at the back that's better isn't it that's better let's put your little booties on so i think this outfit was made for a newborn size but it does fit three uh three month old size reborn dolls so it will fit a saskia by bonnie brown yeah, those boots fit nicely on her. Yeah, you might find 
that the boots fit more the newborn style because this is actually quite firm on her but they've got these little tie-ups down here that you can put oh gosh look at that oh that is just scrumptious I'm going to get the camera down and we'll do a once over let's start up the top with this gorgeous headband so adorable coming down little scrumptious face look at this dress it is just everything <laughs> It's frilly, it's pink, it's got rabbits, it's got balloons and love hearts. Like, <laughs> this dress is just everything that I love about an outfit. It's so frou-frou. And here are her gorgeous little matching booties. Oh, she is so stunning. And now for the big name reveal, I've decided to name this precious little girl Briella Lucette. Thank you so much to my subscriber, Christine Bull. She actually came up with a number of really good naming suggestions and Lucette was one of them. Look, I, you, everyone knows I love traditional names for my reborn dolls and I really, I have to say, I tackled a lot with one of my viewers made the recommendation for Annalise and I thought, oh my gosh, that name is exquisite. But I kind of had Briella on the list for a while, but I didn't know what middle name would or what second name would suit it. And I just think Lucette is perfect. But look, I want to thank everyone who contributed naming ideas there wasn't one name that I didn't like they're all fantastic and they've actually all been included on a list for future dolls so thank you so much for taking the time to contribute your name suggestions I really appreciate it so one down many to go I look forward to seeing everyone later on on in the week when we do the little waddle nursery Easter bonnet parade <laughs> and I want to wish all my other dolly friends out there that are trying to get your dolls ready for Easter best of luck and I look forward to seeing your videos as well take care everyone I look forward to seeing you in my next video bye for now